Hey everybody, what's up? Frokanok here and welcome to another Ethergazer video. Today we're gonna go look into the new modifiers that the official account pretty much uh, posted with their demos um, for the next patch. So, you know, let's get right into it. So, first things first. We have the new limited uh, time event, Grand Senate Centenary Ceremony. Hope I said that correctly. Uh, with a beautiful art, pretty much, you know, Oceanus, Athena, and Hades, of course, there. Uh, looking forward to it. And of course, we have the new chapter in the main story. We got Ver over there with Hera and Athena again in the center. And I imagine the monster on the back is pretty much what awaits us, right? <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that's like the new art and the new stuff that will be coming up. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're gonna release more information in the coming days. We're almost there, pretty much like four days before the new patch. But for starters, we have to look into the two new modifiers, which one of them, of course, is Athena, and the other one is Heimdall. So let's check first the Heimdall, the Enlightening Heimdall. You know, let's say, see her demo. Make sure that it's. Hope it's not too loud. I'm Heimdall, director of the Cryptics. Give me the instruments and a place to work, and my research will meet your expectations. I like your voice. Collecting data now. Support incoming. The deduction begins. Matrice, illuminate the verity! Bane energy detected ahead. Genzone simulation system expands. Unfortunately, you do not present any research value. Hmm. Gain energy detected ahead. And the dual load with uh, Alcune and Nusi. Let's go, Bum Bum 3. Well, I've collected sufficient data. Alright. Okay. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I love uh, the animations and I like I like the voice. I actually never heard of the newer voices. Like every time I hear the voices in English, it's, it's my first time because I actually play the game with the JP voices. Uh, but I like her voice. Pretty nice. All right, so that was Heimdall. So, enlightening Heimdall. Her ENVA is Allegra Clark, and her JPVA is Saori Onisi. All right. Circle so of reason is uh, here. Pretty much here weapon. So hmm, looking pretty nice. A function from Ether Gazer. Uh, it makes sense to have like a dual uh, and ultimate skill scene with Alcarinus, I suppose. Both are researchers. So let's check out her skills. So skill one within reason summons the circles of reason next to the enemy and punishes anyone who disrupts the order, dealing light damage. So yeah. Uh, from the looks of it, Heimdall is arranged uh, with a combat resource as uh, energy and her damage type is light. Hmm. A light damage type, huh? We don't have too many of those so far, I feel. Uh, so, actually supporting, we have Oneiroi and for damage, like DPS, driver being tier. Hmm? So, yeah, okay. Uh, skill 2, final warning. Summons the spinning wheel of admonishment above the enemy, dealing light damage, increases the mod's damage when the last strike hits. So, when the last die, okay, it's the last strike. This effect is served with teammates who were within the most recently generated realm of truth. Okay. Buffer, pretty much, right? So, she can buff. Pretty nice. Skill 3, light realm ultimate. Activates the circles of reason to attack the enemy, dealing light damage. Generates a realm of truth. Okay, so your skill tree generates a realm of truth that we read in skill 2. Upon skill hit, okay, certain buffs enjoyed by Heimdall are shared with the teammates who were within the most recently generated realm of truth. So there should be like, you no, know, I guess like what we saw earlier in the demo, like, you no, know, the little uh, circle. Uh, uh, below the enemy is uh, when our Modifiers pretty much, you know, enjoy those buffs. Alright, so, and ultimate skill. Uh, truth mantras. 
Chance Mantras of Truth and Unleash the Potential Within increases the mod's additional attack, deals extra damage to the additional attack when the mod or a teammate deals damage, okay? Grants a certain amount of ultimate skill charge, of course, when the mod or a teammate triggers the dodge effect. Okay, and those are the skills for Heimdall, looking pretty nice, looking pretty nice, I think like she's definitely gonna have like, you know, a team or two to play with. Uh, we, we got a couple supports, right, like with an Oneiroi, you know, got Heimdall now, you know, looking good for the supports and stuff, like, of course, we have the ultimate support being Hera as well, but pretty nice, I think like you can, if you if you like her, you can definitely like find, you know, use of her, she's an Yggdrasil as well, alright, so. Of course, here uh, ultimate skills in with Okunusi, Star Punch, Connie, and uh, deals light damage, increases additional attack of all members of the team. Hits landed by Heimdall also inflict additional damage, okay? And as for uh, Okunusi, deals physical damage, hits landed by Okunusi, reset the CD of skill 3 for all members of the team. Hmm. The CD of skill 3. Nice. Alright. Alright, pretty nice, pretty nice. And that will be for Heimdall. So next up we have Athena. So I hope everyone is ready to for some rhythm action. <laughs> let's get, let's check Athena. Athena, knight of Convalaria. I am the sword that guards Amorphis, and I will bring you victory. Very well. I will not dishonor the knights of Convalaria. Surrender yourself to the knights of Convalaria. The sound of my string will wash away all filth. Order is not to be stained. I refuse to see the dark times return. I promise to end this once and for all. all right. There's no turning back now. For the Knights of Convalaria. I'll put this fast to rest. Pass it to my nose. Your final movement ends. Your resistance is futile. I hope this peace will thrive. After all, it's where the faith of the Knights of Convalaria lies. Okay. Okay. Pretty nice. Uh, the voice is it's fine as well, you know. Uh, I do play with the JP, so I wasn't aware, but uh, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Uh, it fits here, I think. Uh, so. Sword of Convalaria, Athena. Her EN VA is Amber Lee Connors and her JP VA is Ami Kosimizu, of course. So I'm quite aware of that name. I was aware, of course, with Saori Onisi as well, but uh, even so with Ami Kosimizu, because like recently as well, um, uh, Akila Kila has here the 10th anniversary, I think. Uh, and Ami Kosimizu is like the Ryoko from uh, Kila Kill, main character pretty much. And she voices Beidou as well in games and stuff, but in any case. Uh, resounding uh, sword, her weapon, and of course, like you know, function the Knights of Convalaria. Looking pretty nice. Uh, her gameplay is pretty unique as well. Uh, <laughs> it's Chief already, dang. <laughs> uh, but uh, from Olympus, of course, uh, and she has a really unique playstyle. Like, uh, it has to do with like being in rhythm, pretty much, you know. and getting those harmonious uh, th uh, hits but let's uh, check her skills uh, so skill one adagio vibrato deal physical damage increased damage deal when an adagio vibrato attack is judged as harmonious in humming blade state so they call it humming blade okay the humming blade state all right when the harmony stack count is a multiple of three an enhanced adagio vibrato can be cast restoring the mod's hp upon hitting an enemy so she can Self heal, pretty nice. Uh, that's pretty good because if you have to actually, you know, uh, hit uh, certain skills and attacks in uh, depending on the the rhythm, pretty much that you go to. Like, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be quite vulnerable to enemy attacks. So self healing is pretty nice to have. Uh, skill two, moderato legato. Uh, deal physical damage, increases damage dealt when a uh, moderate legal attack is judged as harmonious in humming blade state. When the harmonious attack count is a multiple of 5, an enhanced legato can be cast, inflicting armor break on the enemy hit and reducing their defense. So she has like an armor break too in her skill too when actually is in harmonious state, a harmonious uh, attack. 
So that's pretty nice. Okay, armor break is always nice to have. Uh, skill 3. Concerto Short Blade. Okay, so skill 3 pretty much enters uh, when you hit uh, skill 3, you enter the Humming Blade state after casting and resets the CD of Vibrato and Legato. Okay. Replaces uh, Concerto Short Blade with Presto Tremolo. Presto Tremolo increases damage deal with when a Presto Tremolo attack is just as harmonious. Okay. When the harmony stack count is multiple of 7, an enhanced presto tremolo can be cast, increasing the additional damage dealt with combos. Okay. Alright, so yeah, skill 3 is like your uh, special state, pretty much, you know, going into Humming Blade. And from there on, you know, you start like, you know, having your skill 1 and skill 2, being able to do harmonious uh, attacks, uh, if they are just that, just that, that is. Um, also, we didn't actually say, this is a melee type, of course, and she's using Divine Grace and Physical, uh, as far as her damage type. So, her ultimate skill, Convalaria Resonance, a skill casting restores the mode's Divine Grace to full, resets the existing Harmony stack count, and triggers Humming Blade. So, you pretty much, like, you know, resets pretty much everything, you know, you being, like, in a zero state again, you know, full Divine Grace, you go back into Humming State, yeah. Okay, and during the Humming State, uh, the Humming Blade state, a sonic boom, <laughs> sonic boom. also occurs around teammates whenever normal attack is judged as harmonious. Skill casting also increases ultimate's normal attack damage. Okay, so she can actually increase the normal attack damage of your teammates. Uh, gains a certain amount of ultimate skill charge when stun is inflicted on the enemy. Okay, I think like she can actually stun with her dodge, if I remember correctly. Okay, and that will be it actually for what we have right now for the new uh, modifiers new chapter of course new time living it in. in a couple of days we'll have all that i'm pretty sure more are coming uh you know of course we know oceanus <laughs> it's in, i'm pretty sure it's in the second phase of the of the pads too but in any case really looking forward to it i'll most likely be rolling for uh, athena myself and i'll probably make a guide too hopefully once I get accustomed with it, like many times I want to make a guide, but I'm so slow with like, you know, getting accustomed and figuring things out. So I tend to kind of leave it because I'm like, oh, so many people already said their thing. Like, I don't have anything to add and they're doing a pretty good job too. So <laughs> I feel like, you know, they're left behind kind of thing. Uh, but in any case, um, that will be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Much appreciated. Uh, I hope you enjoyed like this little, you know, uh pretty much an overview that we had uh and feel free to you know uh you know say in the comments below are you going for athena you're not going for athena you're skipping for oceanus you know what's uh, what are you gonna do um you know feel free to like and feel free to follow me as well and subscribe you know you can find everything down below in the links uh in the description I do stream almost every day as well so yeah that'll be it thank you very much for watching once again i'll see you around bye bye